there, welcome to Bet Says Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the piano chords part accompaniment um, to Wondering by Olivia Rodrigo and Julia Lester. So this is of course from High School the Musical, the Musical, the series. So I'm going to be looking at every single section today. Um, I've based this off the actual from the soundtrack, I guess, um, not from the clip that's actually in the scene because that one is a lot shorter and they cut a little bit out. Hello, my name is Francesca and I'm a teacher here at Bite Size Piano. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here learning from my piano tutorials. Please give the video a like if you enjoy it and that it's useful. I do take piano tutorial requests, so if you would like to request one from me, stick around to the end of the video with our instructions on how you can do that. Here on Bite Size Piano I make all sorts of tutorials, so um, go have a rummage around my channel, see what else you can learn, make sure to hit the notifications bell and I've left a few playlists in the description below to get you started. Let's dive in. So this is in the key of F sharp major. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of F sharp major. So the melody and the chords are most, mostly formed using those notes. So look at the intro first, so that's what you heard in the preview. So here is middle C for reference. Because this is an F sharp major, it's going to be very heavy on the black keys because um, there's six sharps in the key signature of F sharp major. So I'll do my best to move my fingers out of the way so I'll often be playing like this. So the first chord is, an, is based around an F sharp major. So you're going to play the F sharp and the A sharp, and then C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, So in total that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you're going to do the same again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you're going to come to like a G sharp minor position now. So D sharp, G sharp and B. And you're going to play those two notes first. A sharp, B, A sharp, B, A sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. So like. And then play that D sharp again. And then you're gonna almost do that again. And then you'll play an F sharp by itself. That, and then you play an F by itself, which will make more sense when we come to do the left hand. So every time I play an F, it's actually gonna be called an E sharp because that's the correct name for it in the key, in the scale. But I'm gonna call it F to keep it a bit more simple. So the left hand with that, if I show you what the left hand's doing at the same time as the right hand, so you're gonna play F sharp and C sharp first, and you're gonna be playing the notes individually. So it goes. You're going to move to D sharp octaves. And then play that D sharp again. And it comes down to G sharps octaves. And then come up to C sharp octaves. So I'm going to do that again. So now we're on to the verse. Seems like a part of me will always have to lose Every single time I have to choose This bit should be a little bit more straightforward from now on because it's just basically playing chords. So the first chord is an F sharp major. You can just play single notes in the left hand if you want or octaves. I'm going to play octaves 
Um, and as usual, I'll try to be specific about the inversions if I'm able to pick them out. So it's a C sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. And you're gonna hold that for, for four beats. One, two, three, four. And then we have D sharp minor. So all you're gonna do is move your left hand down to D sharp and bring your thumb into D sharp there for another four beats. One, two, three, four. And then the next chord is a G sharp minor. So G sharp's in the bass. And the right hand, you're gonna play D sharp, G sharp, and B for another four beats. One, two, three, four. And then we have a C sharp seven chord, which um, is C sharp, F, G sharp, and B. But if you just wanted to play those three notes, because you're playing the C sharp in the left hand anyway. So you're gonna play that for two beats. And then just play this C sharp major after. So I'll just run through what we've done so far of the verse. Seems like part of me will always have to lose Every single time I have to choose Swore that it felt right but was I wrong Is this where I'm supposed to be at all? And then the next part is almost the same So it's following the similar chord progression So this time you're gonna play the right hand, instead of just holding them down, you're gonna play it on the beat. So you're gonna play the F sharp major three times. One, two, three. And then we've got this. We've now got this passing chord between the F sharp major and the D sharp minor. So I'll just explain that. So you're gonna play F sharp, after you've played that three times, you're gonna play the F sharp again quickly down to F in the left hand, play C sharp major in the right hand quickly, into D sharp minor. So I'll do that from the beginning of that bit. And it carries on. You've got a G sharp mi uh, minor. You've got the C sharp seven, twice, into the C sharp once, and then we've got this chord. <laughs> so you've got D's in the left hand, and then you're gonna play C sharp major again in the right hand, but this time in this inversion. So F, G sharp, and C sharp. I don't have the answers, not today. To the pre chorus. On the other side of all I've had and lost. So we've got the D sharp minor chord for two beats. And then we've got F sharp major in the right hand, but over C sharps in the bass, so two beats. And then you're going to play D sharp minor again in the left hand, but this time with C's in the bass for four beats. Then up to B major this time. So all you're going to do is move your little finger to B, and then B's in the bass for four beats. And then we've got a C sharp sus4 chord, so that's C sharp. F sharp and G sharp for two beats. And then that resolves into C sharp major. So I'll do all that pre chorus again. On the other side of all I've had and lost, would it be enough? Or would I be wondering? And now we're into the chorus. So if I could go back and change the past. 
it's all very similar now so the rest of the song is all kind of going to be the same sort of chords so we've done most of the chords that we need for the rest of the song so we've got the F sharp again if I could go back and change the past and then we've got the this again same as the second part of the verse then to G sharp minor major, C sharp major, then that repeats again. Even if I woke up in my dreams, what the self is something I may see, if I had everything, would it mean anything to me? And then we've got this post chorus so this little interlude after that chorus which is almost exactly the same as the intro we've just have this couple of extra things in it so i'll just go through it so it's this is the same and then you're gonna play this this time so f and c sharp over c sharp major in the right hand so f g sharp c sharp so it's that another passing chord. And then into the D sharp again. Into the G sharp minor. And then you've got this run up before we go into the C sharp. So it's G sharp, B, D sharp, G sharp, a sharp. So I'll just go from the G sharp again. And then into the C sharp. I'll just do that post chorus again. Every now and then as well, there's, they kind of repeat, whoever's playing the piano, repeats the, the chord just before they go into the next chord. So I'll show you this with um, the next verse. I'll show you what I mean. So the verse is um, obviously on the screen now. So it's like playing the chorus. So it's, it's played exactly the same. The second verse is where she's singing. Feels like I might have broke the best thing that I had. So, and it's only that chord progression once, as you can see on the screen. Feels like I might have brought the best thing that I had. I said too much to ever take it back. Scared I'll never find something as good. And would I even know it if I could? And then it's into the pre chorus again, so to the D sharp minor. From the other side of what I've had and lost Would it be enough? Or would I still be wondering? And then into the chorus again, which is exactly the same If I could go back and change the past To the bridge. So I'll just teach you the chords first. So we've got a G sharp minor for four beats. Then we've you're gonna come up to A sharps in the left hand and then F sharp major root position in the right hand. And to B major for four beats. 
sharp major for two beats. And then we've got this C sharp major again, but it's just a chord that sticks out and it's played in this inversion at the end. So I'll play that all the way through now. Maybe I should turn around and take the other road Or maybe I'm just looking for what I already know I was wondering So when they sing this chorus, um, highest, just after the bridge It's playing the same chords, um, but everything is an octave higher So it's incredibly similar, so I'll just play it through slowly So we've got and you're going to play this C sharp, G sharp minor, B, and then C sharp major, a bit lower. If I could go back and change the past. that chorus again. Even if I woke up in my dreams, I would still be something I'm missing. If I had everything, it wouldn't mean anything. Then we're into the outro. So it's similar to the post chorus, um, but the inversions are changing. You're playing it a little bit higher. So we've got D sharp minor up here this time. So A sharp, D sharp and F sharp. So D sharp's in the bass. And then you're gonna change that to a C sharp. Back to um, D sharp minor. And it's sort of doing that. B major. sharp um, sus4 which is G sharp C sharp and F sharp and then you change the F sharp into an F and then that's how it ends so I'll just play the outro all the way through and then I'm going to do a full run through
So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.